Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Brady Erickson. I'm with the technical product support team here at Amtrol and today we're going to take a deep dive into our well Electrol well tank. We're going to talk about the features and benefits. We're going to go component by component level and we're going to see what this tank is all about. So I figured the best way to learn about well Electrol is to build one with me here today. So on the table I have my water dome already set up and it's going to be with my DuraBase stand. So the DuraBase is the plastic stand that you can order with well Electrol from the factory. And now I want to jump into the clean water technology of, uh, component of our water chamber. The first component is actually right on the bottom of this tank, and that is going to be our 304L stainless steel elbow. The second component of the clean water technology worked into our water dome is our antimicrobial liner. So the antimicrobial liner is a polypropylene plastic that's going to have silver ion technology embedded within it. What that silver ion is going to be able to do for you is neutralize bacteria on contact. By having this liner incorporated in the water dome of your well extrals, ensure safe, clean drinking water for you and your family. So now let's go ahead and install this antimicrobial liner. The first piece I want to install is the spacer gasket right on the bottom of that connector. And then I'm going to go ahead and slide my antimicrobial liner in place. And you'll notice this is form fitted to the dome of the tank. My last piece is going to be this gasket, or excuse me, this O-ring, which is going to fit in place. That way when we crimp that connector down, it locks everything safely in place. The last component of the clean water technology is this turbulator. So this turbulator is going to be installed within the water connector of the well extral and it actually has an angled fin on it. What the angled fin is going to do is cause the water to run a circular motion within the water dome. That circular motion of the water is going to do two things. One is going to increase the exchange rate, which is going to keep consistent, clean, fresh water within the tank as, as frequently as possible. The second thing it's going to do is decrease the amount of sediment buildup. It's by causing the water to move freely within the tank, it's going to allow new fresh water to come in and not allow for the buildup of sediment, which is going to help that tank last longer, which is a very important piece. So let's go ahead and install that turbulator. So now that that turbulator is in place, my water chamber is almost complete. The next step is going to be our hoop and diaphragm. So the hoop and diaphragm is going to be a very important component of this as well. This is what's going to cycle within the tank and allow the air in the water to be separated within. So that hoop and our diaphragm is a full butyl blend. It is a thick butyl, and that's going to allow for longevity and durability of your well extral. So now let's go ahead and install the hoop and diaphragm. Now that our water dome is complete, we're going to move over to our air domes. So with me today, I have a top of the well extral tank, and it's going to have two pieces up here I want to talk about. The first of which is centered underneath this black cap. So the black cap is covering a welded nut on the well extral tanks. What that top nut is used for is our paint hooks out in the factory. That way we can hang our tanks for the painting process and then it's covered up in the field for corrosion resistance and aesthetics. The other piece up here is this other black cap which is covering a Schrader valve. So this Schrader valve is an automotive grade Schrader valve which means that it can be used with any of your standard compressor fittings, bike pumps, anything you'd normally use for a car tire or a bike tire. This is not only how we pre-charge the tank to 38 pounds from the factory, but also how you would adjust the pre-charge of your tank in the field according to your pressure switch. So I'll do a very key component there. And I also want to note that this is projection welded to the well extral tank. This is not a mechanical seal. There is no O-rings here. This is a full projection welded air stem. So now the last component I want to talk about is our deep drawn domes. So you notice both of these domes are deep drawn. And if you've noticed any of our other well tanks, depending on what size you get, you will actually have a multiple dome design. Um, so here I have a 15 inch example. Um, so from a 15 inch tank, I can build anything from a 201 all the way up to a 203, which would be either 14 gallons all the way up to 32 gallons. And the only way I would need to do that is just to stack a different amount of domes on the tank, which increases my total volume. When I increase the total volume of a, of a well tank, I'm also increasing the drawdown capacity at those specific pressure ranges, which is the key for a well tank. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a 20 gallon tank. So I'm gonna grab a middle dome with me here. So you'll notice it just has a through hole on it. So if I stack this on, it's gonna allow for more air volume between both the top domes. So let's go ahead and install this middle dome. So now that the middle dome is installed, we're gonna go one step further to increase this to a 20 gallon capacity and install that second dome. So now that the tank is complete, we have ourselves a 20 gallon well tank, which is a WX202 well extral. Now you've seen all the components that go into a well extral and how they combine together to make it the leader of the industry. If you have any further questions, please give the tech line a call or visit our website at amtrail.com for further product information. Thank you very much for watching today and we will catch you next time.